Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Nova Aetis. Now, when we left off, we had just explored a destroyed city down in the bottom left here. Actually, no, over there. <laughs> oh, yeah, getting a little bit disoriented here. But apparently, yeah, down there, we took a look around. We pillaged a couple of things and found some treasure chests. It was actually really cool. And then we headed on to Toktepec, which is, of course, going to be the final siege for the Aztecs, as far as I'm aware. Many of you told me that it would be a good idea to take a look at the factions here because you can then look and see what's going on with the Aztecs and what they actually own. And yeah, there you go. So it uh, it's Toktepec and its village is Yoltepec. So yeah, we're, we're pretty fine with taking this because this is the final, final village. So I'm pretty, yeah, final castle, should I say. So let's do this, shall we? Actually, Wait a minute, before we start the siege, I think it would be a cool idea if we could speak to our companions first, because we do have a couple of them that need to level up. So let's get Engineer and we'll get another point in Tactics. There we go, that's nice. That's going to make things a little bit easier for us. And Mattelt has also advanced in level 2, and there's another point in Strength and Power Strike. Oh yeah, there we go, she's becoming very, very powerful now. And Diggory has also advanced in level, and I'm not entirely sure what to do. Probably strength, but uh, on another note, I just think of something else. I don't know. I mean, we already do a lot of damage with our melee attacks, so maybe some in power draw would actually make a difference. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, Maybe surgery as well would be kind of nice. But then I'm also thinking first aid or something along those lines. Prisoner management, leadership, maybe some leadership. I mean, that would be kind of nice. Okay, so what we're going to do is from now on, we're just going to level up our leadership a little bit more. But first, we're going to go for an additional point in power draw because I think power strike right now is perfectly fine. I think we just need a little bit more damage with our bow. You know, you know whenever we use it, that is. So let's do it. Quinius has a new point in engineering so this is going to be even quicker than usual which is very nice and uh, yeah there's a fellow out there Ooh, hello there oh i need to buy something extra to look better perhaps a bit of makeup 90 percent chance to get the good handsome trait yeah why not let's do that sounds good to me okay so is it now daytime yeah it is now daytime so we can now lead our soldiers in an assault against the final the final stronghold of the Aztecs. This is going to be really amazing to finally see one of the factions eliminated and then we can finally focus on something else like actually going to Calradia and spreading our influence there. But obviously we do need to be a little bit careful about that. I don't exactly know which faction we're going to be attacking first, but what I do know is that this is this is kind of difficult, isn't it? Okay, so I think we found out in a previous episode that we cannot possibly open the gates of this layout so gonna have to be a little bit careful about that I'm actually unsure what the distance thing is currently going on there not entirely sure what's what's actually going on with that particular stat or report thing I don't really know but it's okay as you can see we're actually doing significant damage already so even an additional point of power strike you know, it's it's fine. Yeah, like we, we, we don't really need to do more damage. I think in the end, if we can, then obviously getting a little bit more in that is always a good idea, but I don't think it's necessary right now. And I think that's perfectly fine just to go as we are. We are being able to eliminate people in two hits or less. And I think that's, that's pretty fine. So yeah, I don't think that's too bad. As long as you hit them on an area that isn't suitably armored, you're going to kill them in one hit anyway. Like, overhead attacks will usually, usually I say, usually kill them in one hit. Or ones that actually have a speed bonus associated with them. But as you can see, absolutely all of our forces here are just destroying them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something a little bit, well, a little bit risky. But I'm also going to do this. Which is going to spread out the enemy archers a little bit. But what it's also going to do is tell them basically to charge in with melee to our units. And hopefully that will then mean that they die a little bit quicker and things go a little bit smoother for us. But yeah, my main goal is obviously just to 
interrupt them as much as I can. There we go. Okay. So I think what we're going to try, because there is actually... Wait a minute. Is there a zone here? I think there is a zone here. Maybe. I'm not entirely sure. We're going to have a look in just a sec. Yeah, there is a zone here. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to eliminate as many of these guys as I can. And then we're going to try entering that and seeing whether it does indeed take us into the castle hall. I think that could be really, really cool to try that out. And it wouldn't really be, like, missing anything because obviously we would be, uh, well, we would have already eliminated 95, 99% of the enemies. So, yeah, it's not particularly necessary for us to be too skeptical about using that kind of method because we've already eliminated a bunch. So let's have a look at how many... Oh, wow, yeah, they, they've actually almost been eliminated. So I am probably going to go in here now. Should we go in? Should we go in and see? Does it... It does work. There we go. It does work. That's cool. That is really cool. So there was only 19 enemies remaining. But as you can see, you could skip a huge amount more. Which would be a really good idea if you are maybe not as confident in your army's abilities as maybe I am right now. But, uh, you know, obviously we do have fully customized forces. Apart from the Noble Herdsman unit. Yeah, the Noble Herdsman unit is not particularly good, but there you go. 22 renown and, well, <laughs> would we have gotten more for winning that? I don't know. Maybe, but... It doesn't really matter after all. The maximum that you can get is only 50. So, yeah, it's not particularly a big deal. So, anyway, yeah, at least we got to try that out. I think that's pretty cool. And we're going to just rescue the Dagnabia units. And I, I suppose I might as well take a Vagia Marksman as well. Sounds good to me. So, there we are. We have a maximum army capacity now. Huge amount of gems on us and everything. Okay, so this is going to, of course, be deferred. And then we are going to place these guys there, the footmen, the noble herdsmen, and we're just going to be taking the veterans as much as I can, really. I feel like the veterans are just absolutely fantastic units, apart from the huskars, but you can't get huskars from the automated garrison, so that's perfectly fine. So there you go. We have 77 forces there. Very nice. And what am I going to do? What am I going to do now? Well, that's the thing. I suppose what I should do is wait here for some time, see if anyone decides to maybe attack a... Oh, my. Yeah, okay. So, basically, we've turned into the villain of Calradia right now because everyone is declaring war against us because we executed all of the Aztecs' leaders. So... Stroke your goatee. Yes, exactly. Stroke your goatee, because we are villains. Yes, we are villains now. Okay, well, that's that's hilarious. Uh, 50,000. 50,000 we are still getting from our properties and everything. I'm actually kind of surprised we're still getting that much, because obviously everyone is at war but with us, but I suppose the properties don't care? Do they care? I'm, I'm actually unsure about that. It doesn't seem like they are respecting the same sort of thing, so that's kind of... It's kind of impressive, I suppose. But anyway, we're going to still wait here. And we're going to see what happens. Because I don't believe the Aztecs have any other properties for them to hide in. So this is going to be pretty nice, I would say. Because, uh, yeah, I, I guess we should probably head onward. So I'm going to get out of here. And we're going to make our way back to Diggs Landing. Well, technically to our town here. haven't renamed them yet or anything, but we will soon do that. So let's, yeah, let's get on there. There we are. Okay. So this is the thing. We need to speak to one of the vassals or maybe the liege or whatever to one of these factions and maybe get them to declare peace with us, maybe pay them a little bit to declare peace. I think that would probably be a really good idea, but as it stands, I don't know whether we're going to be able to do that. So let's just have a look and see what we're doing with our court steward here. Okay, so do I need to improve relations? No, I do not. But I do want to change the position of this guy. Uh, no. No? No, I didn't. I, no. Who is it? It's this guy. Or not. <laughs> okay, who is it? Is it this one? No. Okay, so I'm trying to find out which one it is. I don't think... No, I don't think it's any of them. So apparently one of them just requires 15,000, which is kind of impressive, I suppose. But okay, well, I didn't expect that. 
So yes, we do have 480,000, so we should probably invest a little bit in trade as well, perhaps. Give privileges to Jewish traders. Should I do that? Okay, why not? Trade revenue increases by 50%, religious uniformity lowered with 3%. Okay, so 50% for 3%, I think that's a pretty decent trade, and we're going to invest in the kingdom as well. And I'm going to invest 3% this time. So we have 200,000 remaining. I think that's pretty decent. And yeah, there we go. Okay, so now let's take a look at our Chancellor here, because we do have a couple of things that we need to grant, I suppose you could say. So let's have a look here. So this is these are both castles, and that is the only unassigned village. So who doesn't have something? I think this guy doesn't have something, so I'm going to give him that. I don't know who actually does. Oh, uh, yeah, I probably should have looked at that, but okay. Doesn't really matter, I suppose. But I'm going to make myself lord of those two castles because I am greedy. Yes, very greedy. We are a villain after all now, so we must, you know, hoard everything. Oh, this is the guy. Okay, never mind. This is the guy that I apparently... Yeah, I'm not going to be accepting him. I am not going to be accepting him because I think we have enough vassals now. We have six or something. And our region right now is not actually that large. So, yeah, we're just going to... Leave it at that. So, yes, I think our strategy for the upcoming colonies as well is just to allow other factions to take them and then for us to go and invade. So we're going to basically play the role of the Aztecs whenever one of the enemy factions turns up here because obviously this is the new world to them, but this is not, not really to us. This is the old world to us. Yes, kind of. Anyway, yeah. So, no, no, no look at that. See? That guy, Rayek, he's actually not... Is he actually in the castle right now? Because I didn't see him. So maybe I need to go in and see him because... That's not too good. Oh, it appears we also have someone else from the Vagias that has decided to defect. So I apparently need to deal with... Aha! Hello there. Hello there. No, your service is not required. Goodbye. Thank you very much. And who, where's the other fellow? Yeah, it's this guy. Okay, so we need to be careful of these guys because they are going to take our our stuff. You know, they're going to take our, our cash, and I don't really like that. So, yeah, I've been having to do that beforehand as well in previous episodes. It's not very good. Okay, so we're going to give another 280,000. There we go. 188,000 left now. So I think, I think our economy is going to be extremely good. I think we're going to be making a lot of cash, but I'm just a little bit worried about the huge amounts of enemy vassals that might be... Ah, hello! The first one. The first one that we have seen. And Kateng has 26 troops. Yes, 26 troops. I am not particularly happy about that. But what I am happy about is that he only has one of him. Yes, there's only one of him. And I don't see any others. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to chase after him very, very quickly, and tackle him head on. So, do we want to make peace? I have no, no position to offer you anything. You must speak to the Sultan. Unfortunately, I am nowhere near the Sultan, apparently. I don't know where the Sultan is, but I'm hopeful that I'll be able to make peace with him. But for now, let's just deal some damage to him, shall we? Let's see what kind of units they have, because obviously they are technology level 6 or 5. So this is going to be kind of amusing, and also we are fighting in a village which is not something I very much appreciate, because now we have to deal with... Well, we have to deal with all of the villagers being with us, and I don't particularly appreciate that, because they are just going to, well, not really do much, and it's going to mean that they are, well, taking up valuable slots in the army composition, and I don't really like that at all. Well, anyway, I'm going to get off my horse, because there's not really any point. Otherwise, these guys have some pretty good armor, actually. They have some pretty good armor, so I hope that my upgraded, customized units will be able to do something here. Oh, there, there, there goes another flying guy. Apparently there are some unique death animations, which is actually kind of nice. I like that. Okay, so let's just continue here. I'm going to need to heal our forces, I think, a little bit. There we go. And I'm going to use rage as well. Or I'm going to attempt to use rage in just a second. There we go. Let's do it. Oh, yes. There we go. Now, they do have some cannoneers, but I don't think they actually have cannons, because... Oh, they have muskets. 
As you can see, they have muskets. Oh, okay. Hello there, muskets. Okay, well, they're relatively easy to deal with, I suppose, because muskets, as we know, are not particularly good at reloading or anything. So there's a fearsome cry. We are going to push them back as much as we can. And then I'm going to heal myself a little bit as well. There we are. Okay, so I think I might need to do some damage to these musketeers, because obviously otherwise we are just going to continually take way too much damage from them, but as it stands, we are absolutely slaughtering everyone in our path right now, and I don't think it's going to change. So, I don't really know what's going on with muskets being powerful. I mean, yes, they are very powerful in the way that they do damage, but as you can see, they don't really seem to be very usable in this kind of format, you know? It, this is a village raid, and it's not really working out too well for them because they are having to reload so incredibly slowly. And I suppose that's the reason why they are having so many difficulties, but as it stands, I believe that is it. I believe that is a victory, kind of. They're kind of running away a little bit and all, all sorts of things, but yes, they do seem to be running away. Is that... Is there some guy running out across the water? No, no, I think that's just some reeds that I'm misinterpreting as actually a person, but... Ah, it's actually nice to fight a different kind of enemy as well, because the Saranids... I've always kind of liked the Saranids, because they have a really cool sort of territory, they fight on sand, and it's just really nice, but... I've never really fought... I haven't fought the Saranids in such a long time. The last time that I fought the Saranids, I think I was... What was I doing? Was I playing Fantasy Calradia, or was I playing Native? Because that was a long time ago. No, I think it was probably Fantasy Calradia. Yeah, I think Fantasy Calradia, but even then, that doesn't really make any difference, because then I was just using magic and absolutely destroying everything in every garrison. But anyway, there it is, 27 morale, 8 renown. Not very much renown for taking out a vassal of the Saranids, but, well, I suppose I shouldn't really expect anything else, considering it's the first one of many. So, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.